Hello everybody. Today we are at Forest Lawn in Glendale, for real, this time. The last video I thought I was in Glendale because my phone kept telling me I was, but I was actually in the Hollywood Hills area, even though it's not really that close to Hollywood, it's really only just a short drive from this Forest Lawn. Oh well, what are you going to do? But now that website I was looking at the other day when I was at the Hollywood Hills Forest Lawn should serve me well today. Things to look forward to today, probably one of the highlights would be the resting place of Walt Disney himself. Nope, he is not frozen. Well, unless there's a cryogenic chamber in the crypt there or underneath the ground, wherever he is. We'll see. Anyway, if you've been to a Forest Lawn Memorial Park, they usually have those white building white buildings for their mortuary with the pillars and and this one is a Tudor style so very unique different anyway let's take a look at Forest Lawn in Glendale well I'm driving up towards the uh, back of the Forest Lawn Memorial Park here in Glendale and decided to stop and because you, you're up on this hillside and this view is pretty incredible. In fact, you can see downtown LA over there. So I thought I'd just stop and take in the view. Boy, that is something. Alright. Man. I didn't know they put these many graves this close to the street. These people really got kicked to the curb. Oh! All right, let's see what else we can find. Still on my way to the mausoleum, and this is the Garden of Honor. You can't go in the goner, uh, goner. The, <laughs> well, they're all goners. Sorry, uh, the Garden of Honor. You can't go in the Garden of Honor. Uh, that's for whoever owns the crypts and the grave sites. And I thought that was kind of interesting. I didn't know. I'd never been to a place where there were. Grave, uh, grave sides that were locked away. Interesting. Looks like this is the mausoleum down here, so I'm gonna take a little walk and head over there. Oh, looks like there's a, another mural here. Looks like a Declaration of Independence mural. Yeah, this uh, memorial park is got some patriotic US history murals and stuff just like the one we visited the other day and a lot of uh, artwork there's actually a museum that contains artwork that is on the grounds here maybe we'll go check that out if they're open Okay, yeah, so this has to do with the Declaration of Independence up here. Let's go check it out. Okay, so you got this mosaic up here. It's a reproduction of Trumbull's famous painting. It's 20 by 30 feet, three times the area of the original. It contains nearly 700,000 pieces of glass, some only 1 32nd of an inch in about 1500 specially blended shades. The artist noted for his portrayals of colonial America and Americans first painted the faces one by one from life, traveling hundreds of miles to get the likenesses. The result is a series of portraits as, as well as an arresting moment in American history. Then you have this Who the people are and then you can look down here and see exactly who they are that's pretty interesting I didn't know that the original artist actually traveled to meet all of the individuals so that he could get a likeness of them so you've got a quote from the Declaration of Independence on that side and then the Bill of Rights over here. 
That's an incredible piece of artwork. And then off to the sides here, you have the Gardens of Honor on both sides. There's an entrance here and an entrance over there. Behind these doors that look like they really want to keep people out. Or do they want to keep people in? Yeah, so these are private memorial gardens. You need a golden key. Ooh. Is it like a video game? Can I? Oh, no, it has to be given to each owner at time of purchase. I was hoping I could go on a quest and try to find the golden key that would grant me access into the Gardens of Honor. All right. So here it tells you what we were kind of looking at. Down that direction where we just were, Court of the Republic. Court of George Washington over here and the Freedom Mausoleum. So I don't know if that's the actual mausoleum that we're looking for, but let's go check it out anyway. So here we are at the other end of this area. And down at this end, you have a another memorial to George Washington, statue of George Washington. That's pretty cool. Again, we saw a George Washington memorial statue at the Hollywood Hills Forest Lawn. Then over here, you are able to access the Garden of Everlasting Peace. I did uh, see that in that other closed area we were looking at, the grave of Samuel Goldwyn is in that closed area. And if that name sounds familiar, you know, just think of uh, MGM Studios. You know, the one with the lion? Goldwyn would... Samuel Goldwyn was one of those uh, guys associated with that. Uh, and over here, we're going to have our first celebrity site. This is the crypt of Spencer Tracy. I think it's interesting that some of these are designed with little sitting areas. You know, I'm looking at my reflection as I'm filming this and I just realized I'm wearing my Ghostbusters hoodie today because it's cold out and I'm like, is that a little bit in bad taste? I didn't intend it to be. All right, so we've seen one celebrity grave so far. Let's see what else we can find. We'll head over here to the mausoleum. Okay, I actually came back into the area where Spencer Tracy's crypt is. That's over in that corner over there because over here is the resting place of Errol Flynn. June 20th, 1909 to October 14th, 1959. Robin Hood himself. Errol Flynn was uh, quite the pardier in Hollywood from what I understand. So he was, he was pretty young. Huh. Well, let's head back over here then. Oh yeah, you get that view over there that we looked at earlier. It's very peaceful here. They got that music playing. It's very nice. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that. Okay, so I'm in here in this Court of Freedom next to the Sanctuary of Affection. And right next to the Freedom Mausoleum, 
And this is where we find the final resting place of Walt Disney. If you listen really carefully, you can hear the sound of Walter Disney rolling over in his grave over and over and over because of what's happened to his beloved Magic Kingdom. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing around. I love Disney stuff. I love Disneyland. Alright, here we go. The Freedom Mausoleum. Let's take a look at that. All right, so let's head in here to the Freedom Mausoleum. Whoa, that was loud enough to wake the dead. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in here. It's the Sanctuary of Prayer. Hey, buddy. All right, well, that was a wash. Uh, you can't really get anywhere to where you can see grave markers because they've got these chains that are up around, uh, keeping the common folk, like myself, from getting in there. So, couldn't really see anything. They won't let you film inside. You can take pictures and film out on the grounds, but not in the mausoleum. So, that's a bummer. So I'm just gonna edit out. Well, what you what we what you will have seen was uh, severely edited. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, no one was in there. It's just a chain. I could have just I could have just unhooked that chain and walked in there. But we don't do that. We don't do that. I'm following the rules best as I can. All right. So I'm going to go see, you know, this, this, um, they're not very friendly towards, uh, people coming in to see the graves of, uh, celebrities. They, they won't help you at all with that. In fact, I've heard some stories of some overzealous park attendants and security guards you know, trying to basically get rid of people, take maps out of their hands, things like that. So they're very much against that. Now at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, which I'm thinking I may want to visit next, because I'm on this cemetery kick right now, they'll actually give you a map and help you find the places where the celebrities are laid to rest. So I think that might be a better, better place to go. Anywho, it is beautiful up here. And you can walk around the grounds and you get the nice view of downtown LA over there. And so I, I still, I wouldn't discourage coming here, but you're just not going to be able to see as much as you'd like to see. Especially if you're hunting for the graves of famous people who have passed on. It's interesting, even in death, we can't get close to these people. And that's where we all end up, folks. We all end up in the same place, but even in death, they wanted to, no, no, lock me away so other people can't come look at where my final resting place is. Interesting. All right, heading down the hill, I saw that there was another place that you could stop. And this is the resting place of America's sweetheart, Mary Pickford. She was in a lot of uh, silent films, I believe. Never seen them, but I remember learning about her and even talked a little bit about her in, in my 
history class, but never actually saw any of the movies of it. That's pretty neat. So we did get to see that at least. So there's some, there are some places. Usually that door is locked over there, but as luck would have it, it was open today. Humphrey Bogart's supposed to be in here somewhere too. So I'm gonna try and find him next. All right, you walk right in here. And there he is, Humphrey Bogart. Well, I thought it'd be a lot bigger than this. He's a pretty big star. Didn't know he was born on Christmas in 1899. Interesting. All right, so those are only two. There are, I think there are a few other celebrities in this courtyard, but i be honest, I'd never heard of them. So we'll go ahead and move on. I gotta tell you though, the artwork here, and the sculptures and the paintings, they're amazing, really neat. So I'm trying to find Ted Knight's grave right now. He was in the famous TV show, Mary Tyler Moore, was the anchor man in that show, was in a show called Too Close for Comfort, Shaw, and he was also in, let's see, where can, where is, I'm close by, I can tell, I can feel it. Uh, he was also in Caddyshack, a comedy movie. I was actually really close and didn't even know it because Ted Knight was his stage name. 1923 to 1986. Didn't realize that, didn't know he ditched his uh, regular name. So that's where Ted Knight is. Buried next to his wife. All right, on we go. Okay, I'm up at the top of this hill here, really close to this uh, statue of an archer. And the website said you stand there like he's aiming right at you and then walk about six rows down and then you find James Stewart from the famous, oh, I say it's a holiday movie. Yeah, it's a holiday movie. It's a Wonderful Life. That's probably my favorite. James Stewart movie. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's Potter. Potter. He, he, what'd you do with the money? All right. If you haven't seen that, you just. If you don't know who James Stewart is, then Jimmy Stewart, then you don't really get any of that. Anywho, let's see what else we can find. You know, Michael Jackson is buried here, but I hear kind of like in the. Uh, mausoleum you can't really get inside but we can at least go look at the crypt it's a pretty steep hill here watch your step and this isn't even the steepest of the hills here so be careful if you come here to explore you know I was a little disappointed at first because you can't really see anything inside the mausoleums but it's turned out to still be a good visit
So here we are just down the hill from the Grand Mausoleum, which you are granted limited access to. And I did include some pictures of that so you can see what it looks like in there. You're not allowed to take video in there. And you can't get to most of the areas that you might want to get to if you were looking into seeing where some famous celebrities are buried. But still, it's, it's worth a visit. If you like graveyards, some of you might be thinking I'm a little nuts. We're going to end today with the crypt of Amy Simple McPherson. We studied her in California history when I was looking to become a teacher and I was taking my uh, social studies classes and getting ready to go into teaching. Did have to learn about Amy Simple McPherson. She was a big part of California history, was a preacher, and uh, kind of got caught up in a scandal. And she was very popular for a period of time here in California. Uh, and she's got quite a grand uh, crypt here with some other family members as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a look here, one more view of the grounds. You know, it's a pretty place, nice and peaceful. And let's face it, these people aren't gonna bother you. But if you ever get a chance, you might wanna come by and visit in Glendale, California and you know, you can't see everything. You can't get to every single celebrity that you might want to see if you're into kind of hunting down grave sites. But you can still see a lot of neat stuff. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.